more trouble with Tuffy. This is a character-building story about obedience. And one thing we learn about obedience is it's being free to follow those placed over you. Remember Tuffy? He lives on the same block as Stevie and Nancy. He's in the same class at school, too. And he used to be mean, but not anymore. Now Stevie and Tuffy are good friends. In fact, they were sitting together on the school bus on the day of our story. I sure do like field trips, said Tuffy. Me too, said Stevie. Have you ever been to the zoo before? No, but I've heard all about it. Tuffy's eyes filled with excitement. I've heard there are lions and chimpanzees and alligators and elephants and all kinds of fun animals. Stevie smiled. I've heard that too. Animals are some of my very favorite things in the whole world, said Tuffy. Just then, Stevie pointed out the window. Look, we're here. Sure enough, the school bus had pulled into the parking lot of the zoo. The children were all excited and leaned out the windows to see if they could spot some animals. Class, everyone sit back down in your seats, said Miss Hamilton, the teacher. I want to tell you a few things before we go into the zoo. The class sat down and got quiet. First of all, when we're inside, I want everybody to stay in a group so no one gets lost or hurt. And if anyone does get separated from the group, we'll meet back here at the school bus at one o'clock. Does anyone have any questions? <clears throat> no one did. They could hardly wait to start seeing animals. Once they got inside, their teacher took them to the flamingos. They were funny because they were pink and their knees bent backwards. They were taking a shower under a waterfall. Then a big elephant came along to take a shower, too. He sprayed water all over the place. Some of the children even got wet. This is fun, laughed Tuffy. Then he noticed something. Look, Stevie, that's the alligator pond. Let's go over to it. Sure, said Stevie. The two children started off. Then suddenly Stevie stopped. What's the matter, asked Tuffy. Come on, let's go. Miss Hamilton wanted us to stay in a group, said Stevie. I don't think we're supposed to run off by ourselves. Oh, come on, said Tuffy. It'll be okay. Besides, on our own, we could go faster and see a lot more animals than everyone else. Stevie thought he'd better be obedient to Miss Hamilton. He even remembered a song Smuggles the Dog had sung to him once in Agape Land. It was about being obedient. <laughs> Somebody says to you what you know you ought to do, you should do what they say. If you listen carefully, everyone will see you've learned how to obey. Be obedient today. Don't you go on your own way. Do the things you know to do, and we'll all be proud of you. Now obedience is a school where we learn about the rule of doing all that's good. And you'll know you passed the test when you've done your very best and obeyed the things you should. Be obedient today. Don't you go on your own way. Do the things you know to do. And we'll all be proud of you. Roo, roo. Follow the things you've been taught. Obey, but you Stevie looked at Tuffy and said, We'd better obey Miss Hamilton. Well, I'm not going to miss out, said Tuffy. Stevie returned to the class, but Tuffy sneaked off, and no one noticed. Tuffy decided to keep an eye on the class so he wouldn't get lost. Then, after he saw some of the alligators, he ran to the chimpanzee cage. 
This is great, he thought. I'm going to get to see way more animals than anyone else. The chimps were funny. They hung upside down by their tails and swung from tree branch to tree branch. Then Tuffy found a bag of peanuts on the ground and threw some to the chimps. They came over and put their hands out for more. Tuffy noticed there was a sign that said do not feed the chimps, but he was having so much fun, he kept feeding them anyway. Hey, you, yelled an angry voice. Get away from here. Tuffy looked up and saw it was a guard. You're disobeying the sign. You're not supposed to feed those chimps. Now scram. Tuffy was scared. He ran away as fast as he could. By the time the guard was out of sight, Tuffy was shaking and out of breath. He stopped running and looked around. And then he noticed something. His class was nowhere in sight. Uh-oh, thought Tuffy. Now he was really scared. He ran through the zoo, trying to find them. He ran and ran and ran, not even stopping to see any of the animals. But he couldn't find his class anywhere. He was lost. He ran back to the flamingos. The elephant was still taking a shower, but now he was spraying water from his trunk so the flamingos could shower too. It was pretty funny. But Tuffy didn't laugh. The only thing he saw was that his class wasn't there. They were nowhere to be found. Tuffy spent the whole day trying to find his class. He ran from cage to cage to cage, but he didn't even look at the animals. It was a big zoo, and he was scared because he didn't obey his teacher, Miss Hamilton, and now he was lost. Finally, in the middle of the zoo, Tuffy saw a big clock. It was about to strike one. Tuffy ran to the front of the zoo and then out into the parking lot. Sure enough, his class was just getting back to the school bus. Tuffy, worn out from running, walked over and got in line. Then he crawled on the bus. Where have you been, Tuffy? asked Mrs. Hamilton. We've been looking all over for you. I'm sorry, mumbled Tuffy. I kind of got lost. Well, everyone get in the bus, she said to the class. It's time to leave. The bus driver started the bus and began to drive back to school. Did you see the llamas? One of the students asked. Tuffy started to say no, but another student jumped in. I did. I like the giraffes, said another student. They had the longest nets I've ever seen. Tuffy felt sad. He didn't get to see the giraffes. The lions were the greatest, said the boy in front of Tuffy. No, the zebras were the greatest, said a girl in the back of the bus. Tuffy didn't get to see any lions or zebras. He was too busy trying to find the class. He realized that because he was disobedient, he missed out on seeing almost all of the animals. Tuffy got up and walked to the front of the bus and sat down next to his teacher. He told her all about what he did. I'm sorry that I disobeyed you, Miss Hamilton. I promise to try to be obedient from now on. It's too bad you missed out on seeing all the animals, Miss Hamilton said. But I think you learned an important lesson. From behind him, Tuffy could hear the other kids still talking about their favorite animals. Did you see the dolphins? The peacocks were beautiful. I asked my dad for a dog and he got me one. But now I wish I'd have asked for a rhinoceros. One of the girls giggled. A baby pig gave me a kiss. Tuffy just looked down at his shoes. After a while, he looked up. Miss Hamilton? Yes, Tuffy? Do you think someday I could go to the zoo again? Miss Hamilton smiled. Yes, Tuffy, I'm pretty sure you will. A big tear was running down Tuffy's cheek, but a smile slowly poked through anyway. Animals were some of his very favorite things in the whole world.